Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing today? Kyle here with another video. And before we begin with the main topic of this video, I kindly ask that if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell down below just so you can get updated whenever I upload a new video. And also, if you are interested, I am pretty active on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. So if you want to follow me on those social media platforms, please consider following me there as well. The links will be in the description below. So with the obligatory plugs out of the way, why don't we get right into the topic of this video? So if you've read the title of the video, you probably know what this is about. This is me reflecting upon the end of my fourth academic year here in graduate school. Since the normative time to, the get, to getting the PhD is about six years, uh, I believe I am now two thirds of the math works out done with my PhD. And uh, that's kind of terrifying to be honest. If, if if I have to just <laughs> give an opinion about that, because it still seems wild that I'm this far in my PhD as I am. And I spent the whole last year, as I'm sure a lot of you did, on my computer because we transitioned to online study. So we did all of our classes and teaching over Zoom, having all of our research meetings over Zoom. And I just want to share my thoughts on this past academic year. And I haven't really given it too much thought, but a lot has happened, and I really want to share some of that with you. So why don't we go back to the fall of 2020? That was the start of the academic year. I was seeing a class, it was an observational lab class online that was very fun to teach, actually. I had never actually taken a class like that myself in undergrad, and it was quite an experience to have to teach that class virtually online. We were teaching them how to use programming languages such as IDL, and this is not exactly a programming language, but this program known as IRAF, which if you are in astronomy, you probably have heard those names because they are old school astronomy tools to analyze astronomical data, which now has sort of been transitioning towards a more Python kind of environment. But nonetheless, we still teach the students that in that observational class. And it was really fun for me as a way to bolster my own understanding of observational astronomy. I've done a lot of that since I started graduate school, but I, I came in with no prior knowledge whatsoever. And so TAing that class virtually was kind of fun, but also a little bit sad because we didn't get to use the telescopes, which would normally would have been used in a normal year where the students would have been able to do some real observing and taking data and writing reports about that. So a little bit sad about that, but that quarter was a bit tough for me because I hadn't TA'd in a while and I was trying to also work on my research, but that was also when my computer was starting to fail. I hadn't completely failed yet, my research computer that is. And that leads me to the next part of the story, which gets me to the winter quarter of 2020, 2021. So that was where I actually didn't have to teach that quarter, but that was when a majority of that quarter, my research computer just was not Working. So those of you who know, I have an iMac as my research computer that was given to me by my advisor. So the way that works is that my advisor uh, acknowledged that a lot of my research involves a lot of computational coding and data analysis that requires a lot of CPU power. And so when I started my PhD project a few years ago, he took money out of his grant and he used it to buy a computer to allow me to do my research. So that computer was starting to fail and it had started to fail over the summer last summer. And by fail, I mean, it would simply just start losing connection when I was connecting to it remotely from home. I'd have to keep going back into the office to turn it on. I really didn't know what the, what the issue was. I did a lot of sort of resetting of stuff. I reinstalled the operating system on it and still to no avail, it, it kept failing. I kept losing connection. Until one day, ultimately, I couldn't even get it to really turn on. Like, it would turn on, and then I couldn't even get to my desktop screen. Couldn't access any of my files. And uh, it was kind of worrisome, really. I mean, you know, as a PhD student doing research, your computer that you do research on is, like, your lifeline. And, and that was uh, being affected negatively. Um, you know, I, I didn't really know what it, what was affecting it until I actually was had a chance to, to take it into the Apple Store. So the Apple Stores in California were not open for uh, several months at a time. And it was only in March of 2021 was I able to finally bring it into Apple technicians and they were able to take care of it and diagnose the problem and get it fixed. Thankfully we had a warranty, so that didn't, that didn't cost us anything, but it did cost me amount of time. 
uh, and that was about you know several months of just having an unreliable computer, and then a couple of months of having no computer really, because that was a combination of the time where the the Apple stores were not open and the the period of time when they finally opened, and I was able to take it in for an appointment and have them get it fixed. So what did I do during that time? Well. Thankfully, my advisor was kind enough to let me use his computer to do some of the coding that I had to do. I also had this trusty laptop here, which is old reliable. I've had that laptop for about five years now, and I was doing a lot of work on it as well. And funnily enough, I actually started doing research on that computer when I first started doing research three years ago. So it was, it's no stranger to doing research, but I just hadn't done it on there for a while. So thank you, laptop. You are so reliable, unlike the iMac I have, jeez. <laughs> But nonetheless, that's what I did. I was just, you know, running some models, um, working on a paper that I will get to talking about soon. And uh, that was essentially the winter quarter in a nutshell. It was just me struggling with my computer, trying to stay motivated to do research. And I think that's one sort of un underspoken component of this whole year was that my motivation levels were definitely shot. I cannot lie. Like my motivation was just, not really there. I did all I could to try and mitigate that. I tried to take care of my mental health, my physical health, but let's just be honest, 2020 was just such a hard year to focus on sort of research and maybe other responsibilities because of what was happening in the world, right? Like the COVID-19 pandemic, you know, took us all for a spin and, you know, it was very tragic for uh, millions of families across the world. and. It just, there was just so much that happened in 2020 that, you know, thinking about supermassive black holes, while it is my job and I really enjoy it, it just kind of felt almost unimportant during all of this, this craziness. And only recently have my uh, levels of motivation ticked back up and I'm, I'm trying to keep it that way for a while. So I was just talking about winter quarter. I also now want to talk about the spring, which was this quarter. So my research computer was fixed, but then I was TAing another class and it was a bit of a workload. It was a lot of work. I, have, I was TAing about 60 students and had to grade about half that many lab reports because they were working in pairs. But you know, with all the prep work and you know about 10 hours on Zoom each week and grading, it was, it was a lot. It was a time sink and I feel relieved that that assignment is over because I, I didn't get a lot of research done in the meantime. I was just so mentally exhausted every week from, from that assignment. And I am happy to say though, even though progress got slowed down, I have finished my first draft of my first first author paper. Yes, it is finally done in terms of a draft. So I submitted a draft to my advisor to review yesterday and I am now just going to await his feedback and in the meantime, I'm actually going to go on vacation tomorrow. So perfect timing. Finished a draft of the paper. I'm going to take a little bit of a break and my advisor will get back comments to me when I come back. So yeah, that is essentially my year in a nutshell in sort of sort of a non-prepared way of talking about things. But, you know, it, uh, it was a lot and I'm just really happy it's done. I'm looking forward to going back into person over the summer and the next following year. And I, I don't know, I'm just proud. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like I had too much to be proud of. I, I, I was definitely slowed down in terms of research, but I'm proud that I was able to get through all the challenges, just the mental hurdle it, 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 it was. And I'm looking forward to the summer because I have a, another summer student that I'm going to mentor over the summer. I'm going to be teaching an online class for astronomy this summer. And I'm also going to be working on the next phases of my PhD, which involves more black hole mass measurements with the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, which hopefully you guys know that's what I do. And yeah, that's effectively it. I know I just kind of just talked just randomly about whatever just came to my mind, but I really hope you appreciated uh, my thoughts on this. I, I think it was definitely draining this year and I'm sure it was draining for you. I'd love to know how your how your year went. Um, if you're willing to share with me, leave it in the comment below. Just say, you know, how do you feel this school year went if you're in school or if you're working or whatever your situation was. I'd love to hear, you know, how you dealt with the challenges and uh, any challenges that you overcame. So thank you for listening. I am going to go on vacation. Like I said, I'll be gone for about a week and a half. So don't expect any videos during that time. But 
I really appreciate you all for watching my content. It's been such a fun year for me in terms of developing my creative interests. I've gone on to make more videos on YouTube. I've explored Twitch a bit more. I became an affiliate on there, made it into the YouTube partnership program this year and collaborated with some really amazing individuals all around this past year. So in terms of a creative year, this was really fun for me. And I'm really glad I get to share that with you all. And I hope you guys will stick around and see more content that I have to produce in the future. So thank you all. I hope you have a great time off from my videos while I'm on vacation. And I will see you when I'm back. Take it easy, everyone.